LOL, your videos are still awesome with long sleeves, and what's the weather like there, and what's wrong with my long sleeves, and yeah, it was cold. Jaime Rivera, Rivera, Rivera. I'm gonna have nightmares because of your surname, Rivera, Rivera. Can you imagine what I'm gonna have with your surname? Microsoft Scroogle campaign, no word on that, and man, this is not a soap opera, this is YouTube. That's right, it's that time of the week. I am Jaime Rivera, this is Pocket Now, and this is our Pocket Now daily recap for last week. So on Monday I asked you if you would pay for protective coating for your phone because obviously the LG G Flex has all this fanfare about its self-healing protective coating and we took it for a little spin and see how it was and we have 94 comments out of which Soldier 2.0 says, I am very careful with my devices so I don't use any kind of protectors. That used to be my case until I stopped being careful, I don't know why. Then Timothy McDaniel says, I would pay for a smart coating if it worked well and yes, you know, there is Invisible Shield and other options out there so if there were one that were smart, why not? And then Tyler says, tempered glass screen protector and an ultra thin TPU or caseless. Um, you know, the problem with those TPU cases is in the case of polycarbonate phones, sometimes they get these permanent smudges at the back and even that happens with glass. So I would rather stick to something that is not visible and it's better. Then on Tuesday, I asked you, what did you order for Black Friday or Cyber Monday? The news were obviously of the biggest winners for Black Friday, and it ended up being Apple with the worst deals. And we have 375 comments out of which Edward Bliffin says, the new acquisition is more debt. And that happened to everybody, buddy. Then Timothy Jackson said, I got an iPad Air. Good for you. A lot of people did, and actually, that's probably one of the best buys when it comes to tablets in the market right now. It's actually sad for some people because it could be more productive for that price tag, but still, the iPad Air is a good tablet. Then Victor says, I bought the best phone right now on Cyber Monday Wednesday, which was the Moto X, and you're lucky, man. I cannot believe you were able to land the phone in 10 minutes because that's how much it lasted. It was terrible. Then on Wednesday, I asked you if you were planning to buy a Samsung phone for 2014, as the rumors are that Samsung is planning a multiple launch of smartphones during early 2014, which is odd. We have 357 comments out of which one of them says, no Samsung, Sony only. And Sony is doing a fabulous job in design. We're getting waterproof phones. They're doing a great job with software and software updates, but their screens just suck. I hope they fix that. And hopefully that will be the case next year. Then John Bell says, yes, Note 3. And shouldn't it be the Note 4? But yeah, the Note 3 is still a great phone, probably one of my favorites. Then another commenter says, unless Apple makes a bigger screen on the iPhone for 2014, I'll get a Note 4, and you will be buying a Note 4 just like I will, because that's not going to happen. Then on Thursday, I asked you if the bad camera of the Nexus 5 has kept you from buying it because the news were of Android 4.4.1 reaching the Nexus 5 to fix these problems, and we have 265 comments, out of which David Lawman says, I bought the HTC One over the Nexus 5, no regret. And you're lucky, you probably don't have a retina display tablet or computer, and you don't see all those pixels on the HTC One's photos. And yeah, they do better in color reproduction, but the Nexus 5 only needs software for a fix. Then Pierre Gallionis says, the camera is fine for the average Average person and the picture quality is actually decent to begin with. The only crappy part is the software and you're right, it's been historically true that the software on Nexus devices is terrible when it comes to the camera. Then Sam Salt says, please look past the camera, the Nexus 5 is the best phone in my opinion. It is the best phone when it comes to the price tag, it is the best phone when it comes to everything you get for it. Uh, but I do believe that I would have rather pay a little more for a better camera because camera and image quality is a big deal this year. And then finally on Friday, I asked you if you would like for other OEMs to have their own retail stores, the news were of Apple and their whole iBeacon technology and how good it was in innovation. And we have 387 comments out of which one of them says, agree, HTC stores would be the way better than Robert Downey Jr.'s ads. And yes, you are so right. I would think that HTC stores in the United States would do a far better job than teaching people how to say HTC and names for that. Then another commenter says, I would love to see Google stores for Nexus devices and more. And yes, you're right. It is terrible to see that you can't really buy Nexus phones on, well, you can find them in some retail stores, but it would be great to have the experience. I mean, Google alone needs to provide better exposure for Android, but then with Android having so many skins, I do understand why we don't have the stores yet. And then the last commenter says Amazon stores, and yeah, that would be cool. Amazon is doing a great job with their Kindle hardware. We are expecting them to have a phone by next year and drones probably by 10 years from now, so why not? And Amazon store would also be great. Y ahora comienza el marching band. This is just my day. All right. 57 comments out of which Aid says no Samsung, Sony only. And man, if Sony... 
¿Qué era lo que iba a decir yo aquí? You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please, tu m God. That's it for a Pocket Now Daily Recap. Thank you very much for watching. A couple of... <laughs> That's it for our Pocket Now Daily Recap. Thank you very much for watching. A couple of tips if you want your comments to be featured. Number one, keep them short. Number two, stick to the point. Number three, try to get some thumbs up. It helps us spot them a lot easier. You can also follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you on the next recap.